Hey everyone, my name is Scott and welcome to Cradle. This is a new game, new game to Steam, new game for me. I don't know much about it, didn't do any research on it, just kind of real quick description, one, two lines, and was like, alright, I'm in. So I've been messing around with it, I kind of did about half of the first puzzle just playing with game settings. It took a little fiddling to get it to really kind of be where I wanted it to be. But the game looks interesting. It's very um, going to be real sci-fi, I believe, like true sci-fi. So um, let's discover this game together, guys. Hope things are going well with you. We're going to skip the tutorial and find out all about the world of Cradle. Guys, I'm so lucky. I just averted disaster. You don't even know. What happened was I was just got a fresh cup of coffee and I went to set it down on the desk. And you know, sometimes you get that weird resonance and it just starts to f like slosh around in the cup and it sloshed just right to the tip. And then I thought, oh dude, there's going to be coffee all over my keyboard everywhere, but nope. Perfect. Just, just went to the edge and then back in the cup. Amazing story. We are, we are getting up from something. Up off the floor, helmet all disheveled, machine running, no memory. Do we have memory? I don't know. What's going on? We got a task list here. It's an interesting note. It kind of sets a strange context. Oh, where'd it go? So that's a strange context, but go ahead and read it. It's basically you gotta do some tasks here and, and cook a thing, but well what the heck? Okay, gotta prepare food, gotta try to meet with this Ongots creature. So maybe there's a little bit of memory loss because he's like, who is this Ongots creature? I didn't say goodbye, blah blah blah, but he okay, so first task we gotta do is head out the door and down to the river. But let me show you the room a little bit. It's like a Tibetan hut. Basically, you got a, um, I think it's a Buddhist shrine. Looks like some real family photos or something. Maybe the developers. I don't know. But everything's kind of like, not everything, but a lot of stuff is interactive. You can open these drawers and whatnot. And the, probably the most uh, interesting thing in the room, you know, let's not bury the lead, is this robot thing show? Actual robot? If you hit the power button. She comes alive, but just for a little bit. She will track with you, see? Sort of. And then kind of power down. We've got some interesting stuff here, like these, they're like flowers, but not flowers. See, it's like just little screens. This reminds me of, I remember it was Steve, uh, um, Bill Gates when he first built his house in uh, Washington. And he was showing off these like digital photo frames or like full frames, but then they'd be digital photos and he was really proud of those and what else. But there's stuff in here too, and we're gonna get to that. But let's go down to the river. Welcome to paradise. Give you guys a look around. Got some strange portal looks like some transportation goes way up there up over the hills take a look at this this really really looks a lot like where I grew up like amazingly a lot like if I walked about 10 10 minutes out my front door I could be looking at stuff like this well minus the uh, sci-fi super train thing whatever that is but we got to go down here to the um to this tree and gather some fruit for that recipe i think it's nope maybe we got to go down farther yeah see that see the red fruit in this tree in here we got to get some of those i'm gonna walk right through this water who's gonna stop me
So we take this stick and whoops, wrong button. Sorry guys. New game. Boink. And I think we only need like two. I took I filled up my inventory and uh the game only lets you use two for what you need them for, so don't worry about filling up your inventory guys, just get two, have a look around, and head on back. Boom. E puts it in your inventory. And shift is run. I kinda wish run was default. But there's I, as far as I can tell there's not much here. I mean there's a lot here, but nothing to interact with yet. We just gotta get back to our hut. So I think this line is active, because when you I walked over here earlier in the first game. And uh, the first time I went through it, just, you know, messing around. And there's, like, lights and stuff on those things, but... Anyways, let's head back to the hut and finish this recipe. I hope things are going well with you guys. It's super early in the morning here. I woke up at, like, 4 o'clock and couldn't go back to sleep, so I figured I'd get up and start gaming. Do a video. Ooh, yeah, okay, so let's what we need to do let me I'll show you guys this uh, menu again or task menu recipe. So basically you can get this red pot, put water in it, cut up the fruits, add this root, add salt, and then wait. So here we go. Boom. So first let's get the pot, which is not right there, it's here. Okay. Then we need to get some water, which I will do with this cup here. And I'll worry about that task later, because we got this one right in front of us right now. So let's put that in the sink. Let's get this water running. You can throw this cup of water around and it will not spill. It's amazing. Best cup of water in the world. This is what drives me bonkers about this game. So I'm standing in front of this table, right? Tell me if you've ever done this. You stand in front of a table, you put a cup down, and then, okay, never mind. It didn't drop on the floor. I'm a dumbass. Let's open up this stove, grab some kindling. Throw it in, whoops. Put it on in there. Get some more. I mean, the tasks are pretty hyper-realistic in <laughs> what you gotta do. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm low talking or mumbling. It's so early. I barely got like a cup of coffee in me right now. The one I almost spilled, remember? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, let's throw it all in here. Why not, right? Mm. Get some of this. Everybody knows the best way to get a fire going if you're going to have a barbecue. Or when I when I say barbecue, I know we all mean grill, right? But is you get one of those uh, chimney things and you throw some newspaper in there and boom. That is be burning quick. Get this going. this up. Don't touch that stove, guys. It's going to be hot. Okay, so what's the first thing I do is, I think, add the root. Yeah, so let's go get the knife, which is... Close your doors, guys. Right here. Nope. It's right here. Yeah. Knife. It's a good-looking knife, too. Alright. So let's put that in our inventory. Now let's put one of these guys down and get this guy and wabba! Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Onesies. Twosies. Now pick this. Oh, look, it's stuck in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to put it in my inventory. E, there we go. Now we need one of these other fruits. Oops, come on. 
This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt to put stuff on a table. I just want to set it down, you know? But whatever. Okay. Knife. Knife. Thank you. And chop. And... Three Zs and four Zs. Okay, I forget what's next. I think it's the dried root. Yeah, that is outside, so let's go get it. It's hanging on the line. Oh, in case you didn't see that. The date, or at some point the date was July 24th, 2076. But, I mean, that might be old. Okay, we got some root. Let's get back inside. So we need the uh, mortar and pestle, which is in here, I believe. Guys, why am I not closing these doors up? Okay, it is not in there. It's up here. Is it? No, is it in here? No. There it is. Got it. Oops. Come on. Let's go back. Got it. Now, can I get up here? Now, can I combine this stuff in my inventory? Let's see. this stuff on the ground because the stuff doesn't sit on the table it just falls off so let's try this whoops so you can read those notes but what I want to do is pick this up I want to put it in there let's get my this and let's do that okay so I think it's done there we go now let's go here Okay, what's next? Uh, salt. So one of these is salt. But I don't know which one. But there's probably like a puzzle. What was it again? So... Return the salt jar to its place right of the pepper. So it's can't be the far left one. So it was right of the pepper? Okay. There we go. So let's try just the most left one, and then we'll We'll put it back and see what happens. Okay, that's not it. Oh, jeez, dude. This one tired of man. That's orange, yeah? See, how am, I, how am I supposed to kind of put it back in there? It doesn't... Like, I, I feel like that's probably, like, a, an important task. 
like maybe I can't finish until I do that, but like how do you place this stuff in here nice nicely? See what I mean? You just drop it. So <laughs> I don't get it. So whatever. This is it? Is that not orange? I really don't know. I mean, color, color wise, how can I tell the difference? Like, is that, I think that's probably right. Or something. Oh, dude, it's a big ass bird. Oh, this is like your... He's got a thing on and everything. I'm, I'm pushing, but I'm not really getting interaction. A little tearing right there on the way, and you saw that. Very cool. Needs his vest changed. Alright, guys. Thanks for uh, jumping into this new game with me. Cradle. Not sure, you know, a lot of possibilities. Is this going to be like Cradle of New Life or Cradle as in, I think we're talking about like some robotics where you're transferring your consciousness into new bodies and stuff. Like mechanical bodies. So maybe that's what the Cradle is. It's carrying you around. I don't know. But uh, we'll catch you in the next game or the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. That bird looks badass.